Hello, in this SFML tutorial, we're going to be looking at displaying text. Text is very useful. You'll want it for stuff like displaying a score or a bunch of high scores. You want to be able to obviously set the actual string that you're displaying. So you want to be able to, you want it to, to be dynamic, hence why a image is not very good in this scenario. So the first thing before you can actually display text, you need to load a font file. SFML doesn't have access to the system font files, so you need an actual font file. I've already got one in the res folder, which is the resources folder that I created in fonts, and, it's, and I've just named it fontfile.ttf. You can get some awesome fonts from dafont.com, that's D-A-F-O-N-T.com, fantastic website. And to create a font, you do sf colon colon font, I'm going to name it font and as you've done before in textures loaded an image we're going to do something very similar so we're going to do if not font dot load from file and the actual file that we're trying to load is res forward slash fonts forward slash font file dot ttf and if this if statement is essentially triggered, then something has gone wrong loading the file. Therefore, we're just gonna see out, so us as the developer know something's gone wrong. Error loading file, std and line, and we're just gonna do a system pause here, like so. So assuming that the font file has been loaded correctly, now we can actually create our text item to do that you just do sf colon colon text i'm going to name it text first thing you want to do text dot set font and this will be the font file that we just set up then you want to do text dot set string and this is what we want to actually display so i'm going to put hello world And now we're ready to draw it. So if we go down here, let's do window dot draw in here, put text, run this now, and we will have an application with some text. One, it's small. Two, it's white. So let's actually start changing things up. Let's start modifying our text item. The first thing we're going to do is set the character size to something bigger because it's a little small at the moment. So text.set character size. This is the font size, that's the best way of thinking of it. Because if you have a look, dot set, there isn't a font size method, there's a character size method. And this is in pixels, not in points, so bear that in mind. Oh, so I'm gonna set it 256. If we run this, this will be a lot bigger and a lot easier to see. Next, we're going to set a color. To do that, you do text.set fill color and do sf color. You could just do an sf color like so and pass in an RGB and an alpha value, but we're going to keep it simple and just do colon colon red. And if you run this now, you will get the hello world text in red color. We can also set the style. So if we do text, dot set style and this is essentially stuff like bold underlined italic that sort of stuff set the style do sf text colon colon style colon colon bold for example and now let's underline it i mean now let's run it so now it's bold and you can also set multiple styles to do that within the same function call put a vertical line, the pipe, then put sf colon colon text, colon colon style, colon colon, then all of these are the different styles that you can apply. I'm gonna apply an underline, so if I run this again, we have an underline. Now we can also do text.set outline color, so this is very similar to the shape tutorial where we can just provide a color 
and we could do again just you know RGB alpha but we're gonna keep it simple and just do yellow and we need to set a outline thickness and for this I'm gonna put 10 and if we run this now we'll get our text but with an outline looks pretty cool what you can do is put a minus value which makes the outline color go inwards doesn't quite look very good at the moment but what I found is by experimenting with this value depending on what sort of text file you have and what size it is you can create like say a shadow so if I put two this is a value that I found works well with this font, so, font file and this couch size it creates sort of a yellow shadow so that's it for loading in fonts and using them in text if you have any questions feel free to post them on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description to that along with a link to the github page which will contain all the source code from this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you next time